welcome to the daily gospel meditation the gospel passage for our meditation is taken from the gospel of st matthew chapter 20 verses 17 to 28 as jesus was going up to jerusalem he took the 12 disciples aside by themselves and said to them on the way behold we are going up to jerusalem and the son of man will be handed over to the chief priests and the scribes and they will condemn him to death and hand him over to the gentiles to be mocked and scourged and crucified and he will be raised on the third day then the mother of the son so said by the approached jesus with her sons and did him homage wishing to ask him for something he said to her what do you wish she answered him command that these two sons of mine sit one at your right and the other at your left in your kingdom jesus said in reply you do not know what you are asking can you drink the chalice that i am going to drink they said to him we can he replied my chalice you will indeed drink but to sit at my right and my left this is not mine to give but is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father when the ten heard this they became indignant at the two brothers but jesus summoned them and said you know that the rulers of the gentiles lord it over them and the great ones make their authority over them felt but it shall not be so among you rather Whoever wishes to be the great among you shall be your servant whoever wishes to be first among you shall be your slave just so the son of man did not come to be served but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many the gospel of the lord james was the son of sabadi the fisherman and salome mary's sister john the apostle was his brother the two with simon peter made up jesus in a circle of disciples who were given the privilege of witnessing the transfiguration the rising to life of the daughter of jairus and jesus agony in gethsemane jesus called james and john sons of thunder probably because of their high ambitious character later james was known as james the great to distinguish him from james the less who wrote the epistle and led the jerusalem church community james the greater was probably the first apostle to suffer martyrdom it was herod and tipas who ordered the arrest and condemnation probably in an attempt to please the jews Acts of the Apostles chapter 2 verse 1 to 3 Today's gospel passage describes how ambitious, far-sighted and power-crazy James and his brother John were in their youth. They sought the help of their mother to recommend them to Jesus in their desire to be chosen as the two cabinet ministers closest to him when he established his messianic kingdom after defeating the romans but i had picked the most inappropriate of moments to make this request. Jesus had just predicted his passion and death for a third time. Jesus told them that it was the spirit of service which would make his disciples great because he himself had come not to be served but to serve and give his life as a ransom for many. The leaders in Jesus' church must be the servants of all as Mary was. The response of Mary, behold, the handmaid of the Lord. That is why the pope is called the servant of the servants of God. The priesthood of the ordained is called the ministerial priesthood because the duty of ordained priest is to provide a spiritual service to the people of God who share in the royal priesthood of Christ by their baptism. The church leaders must be ready to serve others sacrificially with agape love in all humility. In other words, leaders among Christians must be humble, loving, selfless and the servants of all. We can be ambitious but let it be according to the will of God. I pray may Almighty God bless you. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.